Thank you for joining me on this TMK Essentials training video. Uh, this is part four, create a CMA. Uh, my name is Ron, I am tech support with One Information Service. Okay, so once in your system, in order to create a CMA, you're gonna click in here within the search category. Uh, so if it's not expanded, you can go ahead and expand search and click on create a CMA. It's pretty much um, the same uh, standard search field, except you're gonna have this A, B, C section up top. So this is how you know you're in create a CMA. So A section, go ahead and enter in your subject tax key. In the B section, you're gonna enter in your date range. So it's gonna go two years. Uh, prepared for and prepared by, you can fill this out. This is optional, but you can fill it out. And you simply run your search. So you just enter in your ABC, run your search, and you get some results here. So your prepared for is gonna be up here prepared for Ron by Jason. Again, not required, but um, if you do use it, that's where it's gonna be. If you don't, that's good, just gonna be blank. You're just not gonna have anything up there. Um, your subject property, this is your subject property right here. You know, I'm gonna take off my search recap. It's hard, it's kinda of hard to see with the search recap on. So I'll go into options, no recap, search. Okay, a little bit easier to see. So your subject property is this guy right here. So this is what I entered in, that is my subject. What I just ran, I did not get any comps, so I need to do something about that. Okay, let's modify it to go back. Okay, when you enter in your subject tax key, this box here, it's um, this is going to dynamically change and tell you what's going on and what the system wants to look for. So let's take a look. So um, this is a residential property on 6,800 square feet of land. It has 4,290 square feet of living area and three bedrooms. Research will automatically search for property with living area from 3646 to 4933 square feet, which is plus or minus 15% of the living area. So research will automatically calculate plus or minus 15% and add that to your search request. Um, this last part, unless you specify a tax key, sales will be limited to the same plat. So keep that in mind. So if we look down on our request, the system already automatically put your interior area down here. Um, this last part, unless you specify a tax key, sales will be limited to the same plat. So, research is only searching on plat 2. Um, for, the, for this subject property, it's just looking at this plat 2 here. So, essentially it's this. I'm going to copy and paste. Essentially, that's what you're searching. So, you do want to expand it out. So, do something else. I mean, if you're not getting re the results you're expecting. So, I'm going to go plat 1 to plat 5. And now it's added to my search request down, down here. Now let's search. And good. So I got my subject up top. And I do have two comp sales that got matched here. So so that, that is good. Uh, we can modify it to go back. We can, of course, expand it even further out. Like just say if I want the whole section 2. Just enter in, let's enter in that in, in your tax key. And run your search. And we get much more results here, all of section two. So yeah, you can just keep adding search parameters to narrow down what you're looking for. Or you, you know, you wanna expand the area. And then if you wanted to just do comps that are three baths, go ahead and enter the baths in on your search request. Um, but let's do land area, modify. So this is a land area of 68, 41. So let's do land area, maybe 6,000 to 8,000 square feet. I don't know. I don't know how you want to run your comps, but but um, but for our example, this is just what I'm doing. Okay, so um, subject property, living area, 4,200. Living area, 37, 45, 42, not bad. Land area, 68, 62, 65, 79. You know, not, not too bad here. Okay. But um, yeah, that's pretty much how you run your, how you're gonna run comps in our system. You don't need to have a subject property. You can just edit stuff down here. It's just, when you look at your search results, you're not gonna have this top section subject property. All you're gonna have is comp sales down here. But if that's what you wanna do, you can. Let's modify. Okay, so that's a residential. Um, I'm gonna pull up a vacant land for us just to take a look. Okay, so I w this is a vacant land. I'm gonna click away. Research automatically changed our stuff up here. So um, this is 
6,197 6, square feet of vacant land. Research will automatically search your property of vacant land area from 52 to 71, which is plus or minus 15%, unless you specify a tax key. So this will be limited to the same plat. So same, except what I want to show you is down here in the request. So we do have um, land area square footage from 52 to 71 and vacant land, yes. So depending on the type of subject property you plug in to the A section, research will look at what it is and automatically fill in your request on the bottom. Um, hopefully with what you're expecting, you know. If it's a vacant land, you're gonna comp vacant lands. If you're comping a residential, it's gonna comp residentials. Okay, project is, you know, any, um, if you do a condo, it's gonna be similar similar to, to residential, except for this last section where it says, unless you specify a tax key, sales will be limited to the same plat. Um, what it's gonna say in here is, or it's basically gonna search within the same project. So if your subject is a, a CPR within a project, it is only gonna look in that project. So you would need to enter in your tax key range or um, area, or you go down into the project field and you enter multiple projects. So, and if you forget, if you forgot from a previous video, in order to do multiple projects, you will want to enter in the keyword space, the word or, and, uh, and then the next match you want to do. Click it, you're going to get all these. You place your check mark. Let's go down to the alohas, sorry. And do some alohas. And now in my request, I have Project Kai Ani, Kai Halulu, Aloha, Holani, etc. So that is how you do multiple projects. But again, if you're doing a condo, it is going to want to limit to the same project that that unit is in. In order to expand it out, just enter in more projects or just do a, uh, an area range. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, th that, so that's how you run comps in our system. Uh, feel free to stick around to our next video. If not, have yourself a great day. Aloha.